A year has passed since the sinking of the Sewanho ferry that left more than 300 people dead, mostly students, and plunged the country into a state of shock and sorrow. Our Kwon Soa was at Pengbokong Harbor on Chindu Island, where thousands of people commemorated the first anniversary. Pengmokang Harbor off the south coast of Chindo Island. Last year, the victims' families gathered here, calling out to loved ones trapped on the sunken ship. Now, this port has become a place for them to remember the 304 people who died on board the ill-fated ship. This port, the nearest point of dry land to the sunken ferry, is a sea of yellow, the symbolic color of the tragedy. Though a year has passed, Pengmokang Harbor will remain a site of grief, especially for the families of the nine people still missing. And that's why there have been unrelenting calls to raise the ship's wreckage. On Thursday, President Park Geun-hye went to the harbor and addressed the appeals for recovery. She vowed to raise the ferry in the near future and do everything possible to recover the nine missing passengers. Other politicians and officials were present at a memorial service for the victims, including Minister of Oceans and Fisheries Yu Gi-jun, who expressed his sorrow about the tragedy. The government will do its utmost to prevent such a big tragedy from happening again. He added that the government would listen to the bereaved families and the public in regards to the unresolved issues surrounding the accident. Jindo residents and people from across the country attended the memorial service, paying their respects to the victims at an altar and taking part in prayer services throughout the day. It was such a painful tragedy and I felt like I have been forgetting it. That's why I came to reminisce with my child. I came last year and this year too. I was a government supervisor when the ferry company was being established and I was responsible for overseeing the process. It's such a pity. If the captain had called for an evacuation, nearly everyone could have escaped. That's what I believe. While politicians and the public gathered for the event, some of the families of the deceased and still missing skipped their scheduled appearance. During the memorial service, the names of the victims were shown on a screen as yellow balloons were sent into the sky in a symbolic gesture of remembrance. Kwon Soa, Arirang News, Pengmukang Harbor.